In the latest blockbuster movie, The Hobbit, wizard Gandalf the Grey helps assemble a team of 13 dwarves exiled generations before from the Lonely Mountain in their homeland of Erebor in Middle-earth. Leading this band of dwarves is King Thorin Oakenshield, son of Thrain and grandson of Thror, king under the mountain. Thorin is described as very haughty, stern, and officious. He has a talent for singing and playing the harp, wears a gold chain, and has a very long beard. He wears a distinctive sky blue hood with a long silver tassel. He is a capable and cunning warrior, if not a particularly inspiring or clever leader. It's precisely his lack of cleverness or inspiration that benefits continuously from Gandalf's coaching. Leaders often find themselves in situations where what they know is not enough to pull off a positive result. It's specifically times like these that a coach like Gandalf can open a leader's eyes and heart and get him or her to see a new perspective. Thorin, for example, has no faith in, nor use for, the hobbit, Bilbo Baggins. Baggins is recruited by Gandalf as the band's resident thief, who's needed to steal the Arkenstone, which resides within the Lonely Mountain, and is symbolic of the dwarves' right to a homeland. In the skirmishes, trials, and tribulations fighting their way toward the Lonely Mountain, Baggins shows little stomach for battle and little penchant for aggressiveness. Limited to 12 teammates, Thorin repeatedly resents this thief underfoot. Coach Gandalf spends multiple scenes trying to get Thorin to see the data that Baggins is a valuable asset, only to hear in response the king's narrow interpretation of the Hobbit as unwarrior-like and of little use. He's clearly closed-minded on the subject. We would say he's operating from his knower judger. Yet, in the final battle of the movie, it's Bilbo Baggins that emerges as the hero. His recalcitrant reluctance to race off to battle leaves him at the rear of his team. Here he becomes acquainted with the creature Gollum and cleverly escapes Gollum's entrapment with a mystical ring which has the power of making its wearer invisible. Bilbo uses this power to steal keys and ultimately free the dwarves from elfin capture. In a truly schmaltzy scene, where the dwarf band has escaped and they're kind of hanging out, sort of high-fiving, Gandalf coaches Thorin into understanding why they've been freed and that without Bilbo Baggins, they'd still be incarcerated or worse. Thorin prefers his continued displeasure with Bilbo while the emotional tension in the scene escalates. Then, as the music crescendos, he strides confidently across the screen and embraces Bilbo. The Hobbit finally gains recognition, but only after the leader's learner researcher sees new information. I can't wait for the sequence of the first movie to see how Gandalf's coaching evolves. So who's your Gandalf? Who do you trust enough to open your eyes and expand your narrow interpretation of the people and situations around you? Heroes abound. You might benefit from seeing and hearing new data with the goal of changing your mind. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.